I think we're working. So, welcome. Hopefully, this all works. We're gonna go matrix here for a moment. So, all right. Up. Hopefully it doesn't kill my computer. Oh, there we go. Now it's looking good. Ah. It's updating. Okay. Well, how much I can do about that? How about how about the Stanley Parable, huh? Quick change. We're not going to do super liminal, I guess. But we get another game. Like I said, hopefully my computer doesn't crash and burn trying to do it. happening now. I guess we'll see that audio. So it should be fun. And I should probably get my microphone back to where I want it. Hopefully, 
works. It's a lot trying to process. I'm guessing. Get a better computer in the future, probably. Let's go. I'm not tired. Just a random yawn. It's fine. computer a little bit. I should be fine. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the old narrator has for us. When Stamps came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. See, I've done this before. I guess we we'll miss for once. Hmm. I just never really looked around before. But, uh. Yeah. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. Alright. I don't know if you guys have ever played this game, looked through it. These slides are pretty fun. Not wrong. Monetize free to play. Oh, no. We see how well that's working for you. I will not sit in here very long. Stan stepped into that room closet, but there because, was nothing uh, there, so he turned around and got back on track. Your uh, entertainment value very quickly, get bored, leave, but dude flips out. There was nothing, was nothing absolutely no crazy choice to make, no the power fact that to follow, just an empty broom closet. So, no reason to still be here. I apologize for running in the same Coming way. to a set of case, he suddenly walked upstairs to his boss's office. Lag. Can I not open that door? Dang. We'll go down some more. Hmm. What is down here? Just a cardboard box, huh? Alright. And I know nobody's really. But Stanley sure just couldn't do it. But if you can tell he considered me the possibility of facing his bonus. Admitting so. he had left his after spurring work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? How do you park a car in here? All because he believed that everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Sam. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually good. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. 
so, so he imagined himself dying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so such fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Uh, how what he was meaning so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stan's head. One he was a he may he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Who spilled the coffee? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. What's thought? That's really meta. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, not believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Dang it. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for Sufan beyond a doubt that this was in Foz to dream. Like the voice not him flow to make the magical last just a moment ago? How else how would the voice explain all that? Not... Yeah, it's just... This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. It doesn't seem like it's cutting in and out for you So he guys. closed his eyes his gently, a bit. and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press like of the mattress on his back. Moment, sometimes. The fresh air of a world outside this one. To me. The scuff. Let me wake it's, up, it's up thought to himself. I'm through with the dream. I wish it would be over. Let me go back to my job, job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. Doesn't matter if I'm living I want my apartment and my, and, my, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Too. Angry. I am okay. <laughs> I wish. Mm, nope, you're still down here. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? It's all and just it a simulation. Black. Oh. This is the story of a woman named Mary Mello. Hello. Mary Ella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. What? It's not the Stanley parable, it's the Mary But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, through talking and screaming to him, still, and then collapsed ever. dead on the sidewalk. Time. Which, anything more than... And although she would soon turn to go and call for ambulance, for just a few of brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how so lucky she was to be normal. normal. I am so saying I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what is not. It was comforting to think this, and, and in a certain way, too. seeing this man made her fit better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. Maybe it's all just like a free guy thing. The very important people whose impressions of her will affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. 
She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned to the man. Sounds like my dating life. I guess that was the whole ending. Even in playthroughs that I've seen, I've never seen that happen. Ah, there we are. It was a little frozen on my phone. I was wondering if everything was okay. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, what could it mean? Stanley it decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had that simply sister memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Also, this mug. Ooh, Weather smelted dirt. That's what I see. Cool. Don't know what I did, but I turned it off. Don't know what it says, but whatever. Woo! Stop walking in the doorways, bro. Another computer. What if I want to get to that? What do you mean? I can't. for Garfield. Can I open this door? Nope. It's locked. Where is door 117? Maybe it just doesn't exist because you'd never catch Master Chief dead <laughs> working an office job. You know, the scuffs not as bad as I thought. So, mission one, congratulations on my computer, computer not completely dying. Could be better, but, uh, you know. Speaking of which one of my other young streaming buddies sent me something. He doesn't follow me on Twitch, though, because I've never streamed up to this point. So, why would he? I follow him. When Stanley came to a game set of game. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, I guess we'll do it again, but we can actually walk up to the office. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agendas. Reflect. Who moved my desk? Get Chris out of the broom closet. Uh, push for funding for R&D of new cognition. Synergized papers. Hire someone to synergize paper. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Oh. Hire someone to fire the paper synergizing guy. <laughs> okay. That was a whole lot of confusing. The numbers of slides on that slide. Perfect. There's the broom closet again. We'll just leave it alone. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I guess. It almost feels like there's just a spot for a door there. I 
executive bathroom. Dang. Why can't I use it? It's probably where they have the gold toilets. I'm not good enough for you, apparently. That's just dandy. Get off the wall. My computer's not on. What's in here? Nothing. Dang it. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. I might own Shock, shock, no. unraveled. Stanley wandered in one disbelief. He could all straight with this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind his boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping keeping him. And so the boss had assigned us an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly as an in this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. I mean, it's sheer luck, like he said. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Shoot. Well, freak. There's my microphone. You all see this? A little bit of orange from my freaking Doritos earlier. <sighs> Sometimes no matter how hard you try, you can't just get it off. Is that just like uncovered insulation? That stinks. You know how annoying the insulation is? Mostly just to put up. It's a pain. And then you have to take cold showers afterwards so it doesn't get into your pores. And they despise cold showers. And it's just so different. It's good. Go for a little bit more depending on how long this ending goes. It was really just a test stream to see if things were working. That they are working, so uh, I'll uh, play around with more uh, settings. Attending deeper, deeper, maybe play. pull up the game. Stanley realized he felt a bit so peculiar. Just make it, just make it, a little bit it was a stirring of emotion in his nest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his choice. Well, there's only a deep fun this now. When that the means it, 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 there's a completely different elevator to go up. This quest question like, would not go, go down. down. This is a down elevator, and it only can do that. But obviously, it comes back up because it's got to get more perks in there. And where does the up elevator exit out of? It's all mystery. Well, that looked like stairs for a second. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door, the red mm. mine mine control and facilitator. That's not a suspicious at all. So last time, one of the endings that I played when I was down here, I walked in there and I set off the the countdown. I won't spoil anything for those who don't know, but I'm thinking this time go to the escape, because I don't know what happens this way. Although this passageway had the word, is a gate written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his vice death. That's not okay. Let's try it anyways. I already feel like I've screwed up the game before when everything sort of glitching and lagging through. The, the door behind him was not shut. Stan still had had every opportunity to turn around and get back on the track. Details. This point, 
Stanley was making a conscious concerted effort to effort for forward and willingly confront his front death. Before we continue on, it's just a little sidetrack thing. This beard has been going on since November 1st, and uh, I plan on shaving now for him Saturday. Um, but, you know, I think it looks pretty good. I don't know what that thing was. Ooh. Hi, Molly, thank you for following. Um, yeah, this is my first live stream. I'm just trying to see if my computer is too scuffed to do this, but clearly it's working. I'm playing Stanley Parable. Um, I stopped for a moment just because I was talking about how I plan on shaving this off, but let me know what you guys think if I should grow up back in the future since it's coming off soon. Obviously, I, you can see that I can do it, but uh, yeah. We took our escape route from the mind control facility, and uh, now we're going to see what happens going this way, since I've never tried it before. The narrator said it would be a violent death. And I apologize if you joined to watch Super Liminal. Like I said earlier, uh, Stanley for some reason. So, we're doing Stanley Parable now. As the machine is word into motion, and stance is inched closer and closer and closer to the lyrics, the reflective that is life of one of no consequence to its spots. Oof. Stanley starts seeing the pictures. He doesn't know the real story. We're trapped forever in his narrow, narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death will be a great loss. But I'm assuming I can't get out of the way. So he blindly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Nice knowing you, I guess. Stanley. Yeah, oh, it stopped. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. That's a different narrator. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. It doesn't look like it. System. Can't go that way, apparently. Guess I have no choice. Lish, Stanley. Hey, and it so would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? That's a good question. Like yelling at me in a broom closet. That accomplish? I don't know. This doesn't look like the office. When every part of the talk has been created for you, Loy in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life our setting. This is like Do you see now? office heaven. Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Nature paintings. Good job. Great description. Stanley's computer, huh? Oh, there's some real meta stuff here. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Well, it worked. Filing cabinets. What else we got? Office computers. Yeah, we playing solitaire. Dang. Credits. That's new. Shout out these guys. And the narrator, who did a phenomenal job. Doors. Button sounds. Okay, I thought maybe I could click it, but no. Nope. 
It's like a little memorabilia hall. It's kind of cool. Larger orders. The point of the Stanley Parable HD remix is to win. That one says it's to lose. What the heck? There are screenshots. These are screenshots of Stanley. Good job. Bless Stanley. I don't like that. What's over here? Narrator emails? This game got no discovery by the person. Okay. The pertinent timer. Dang, if you ain't careful, you're gonna get lost in here. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they both to control one another. How they how both wish to be free. I've never seen this ending before, so I don't know what's going to happen. But uh, we'll flip it. Flip the off switch. Nope. Can you see? Can you see how much them need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program if they both fail. Oh, There's no other way, other way to beat this game. I don't know if you guys are seeing that thing that's... As long as you leave, you'll be blocking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only, but really choice. Don't choose it. Don't let time chimes for you. Or don't let time chimes for you. That was... cursing. happening. Uh, I guess a little bit of introduction time now that we're pretty much so far into the stream. Uh, so, you saw the channel name, Sheriff Brick. Um, Brick's a nickname. Added the Sheriff part, makes it fun. Um, I enjoy games like this. I got Super Liminal, I got Minecraft, I got a few other games like stuff like that. So just what uh, Steam games I can play. And, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll see if my computer can run them well, and if it can run Twitch well while doing it. And we'll see. Yeah. And I can't promise consistent uploads. College life's fun. Reading it takes up a lot of my time too, and I prefer that usually more than staring at a screen. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening. So uh, guess we'll save the game. I still got the game in the background. 
That's interesting. heard that, don't worry, it's just a phone notification sound, Halo 3 shotgun baby. Okay, yeah, if I remember correctly. The uh, comments will keep scrolling through, so that's something new. I don't know, can we get Super Luna working before I get off in a couple minutes? I wanted to test out a new microphone, that's part of why I wanted to do this stream today. I've had the camera for a while. Microphone quality from the aux port to this head, so that's not bad, but I wanted to try the microphone, and it's been working good, so... Man, I'm struggling. Ah! There we go. Now, here's what we'll do. Go to options. Hold up. Bear with me. Chat for just a moment. As I try to uh, move this out of full screen so that way I can pull up what I'm seeing for you guys with my gameplay settings. The graphics settings. Mm -hmm. No.
sorry, I'm trying to get that. Don't worry about that in a moment. Um, Go back to gameplay, it's gonna go extremely meta. Bear with it just a moment. Hopefully, it'll go fast. We'll, we'll mess around with Henry Stippman collection for a moment. Ooh. Stretch. Remember to stretch, people. That's good. But, uh, my water bottle is over there. I forgot to to grab it. That's ah! it. You. Okay. Make sure that I'm doing the right one.
cool. We'll look at our map. And that's how you get there. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Original showdown music and flash player version. Uh, yeah. Um, for deeper reasons, I couldn't do that one thing last week. The more you know. There's a whole page about it, I think, in the Wikipedia. Um, and you can see all the things. Exactly what we wanted. Okay. One achievement down, one more to go. The peep sounds about to take, huh? Is it still? But it did. I don't know if I got it. I, I legitimately don't know if I got it, so... One more time! Okay, so now it's over on this part of the screen. Okay. We're gonna assume that I got it. Now we're gonna go back to the map. Go to the original. It says, do the file.
here. Left. And there's three donuts in the left side of the board. Nay. Shut up, janitor. You don't count. Now, the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I actually ate those. Is that what to expect with those? Let's see. Energy drink. Okay, so he throws a guy in. <laughs> That's why we got the internet. So let's go. Thank you for that. And we're still playing Wikipedia. We now have all of those. So I guess we're gonna try in the future. I got two more bios to get in this one. This guy from Modern Art is in this guy when he gets picked up by Teradon. And then I'm missing three achievements on that. But one of them involves getting all the bios, collecting all the rest of the art, and whatever this is right here, the TLDR, and got no time for that. And then they just progressively get harder and harder to do. 52 to 58 bios. <laughs> <laughs> and then 60 to 75 files, 15 achievements. guys uh thank you for watching i know it's a bit of a amateur hot mess express getting through this but i'm proud that it worked as well as it did for the first stream and uh yeah like i said don't know if i can be super consistent with my time right now i'll make time i'll do ways to let people know as much ahead of time as I can when I plan on streaming. So, I've already shown you that I've got the Henry Stickman collection and Superliminal and Stanley Parable. I'll figure out how to use Superliminal with that. Poppy Playtime doesn't work great even without Twitch, but we'll see how that goes if that's something you want. There is no game. Um, I guess if you really want to see me grind on Star Wars The Old Republic, that's an option too. I got Heath Hill, and I got Minecraft. Um, and I guess I can access Game Pass games on my PC, so that might be worth a try to play maybe some Persona 5 if that's possible. I like Persona 5, don't matter a little bit. I think you can stream through directly to the Xbox itself. So, we got things to play around with. So just stuff, I'll try it. Just fixing my mustache. Anyways, um, thank you all for joining. Hope the you didn't cringe too much with my lack of knowledge with Twitch. But uh, anyways, 
Take care. Have a good rest of your day. See ya.